Hi guys, I'm so excited to share my digital painting workflow with you. I know there are so many digital painting process classes out there, but I've always found it helpful to see other people's workflows as they're all different and I always pick up a great tip. So in this class, I'll be sharing my perspective on what makes digital painting so great and show you my full setup, process, and a beginner-friendly version of my workflow using both Procreate and Photoshop. In case it's your first time taking a class with me, my name is Mimi and I'm an illustrator and creative director for my studio, Mimo Chai. We love helping clients with a variety of story-driven branding and illustration work and also produce our own personal projects such as animations and picture books. I started learning how to paint digitally in 2015 and without exaggeration, it changed my life. I benefited a lot from seeing how others work and was always grateful that they would share not just their finished drawings, but how they made it happen. I knew I would one day want to share my process and tips too. Of course, I'm still learning and evolving my own process right now, but I thought it was a great time to check in and share my process because I still remember all the questions I had as a beginner. Things like whether it was worth the jump from traditional to digital painting, to what tools I should get with my limited budget, and finally what workflow was best given all the options out there. And to be honest, there's no one right answer for everyone. But I'll share my perspective on those initial questions, going over my experience starting with Adobe Photoshop, why I picked up Procreate, the pros and cons I see between the two, and how both still play an important role in my creation process, which continues to evolve as tools and options keep improving. I hope to introduce both programs just enough so that you can see how it might fit into a workflow and which one might be best for you. To provide a solid beginner-friendly example to work from, I'll guide you through my typical painting process using an illustration I created in my company Skillshare class, Design Your Own Illustrated Map. Having a fun and easy project to start with will make this learning experience way more enjoyable, and you're of course welcome to join in with any sketch of your own. Together, we'll make a digital painting and develop a workflow that you can integrate into your own. You can also totally follow along this class without any tools first to see what makes sense for you before committing. So let's get started. I'll see you in class.